Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Sin Junior's weekly recap. In this episode, I'm just going to be talking about what happened during this week. And yeah, let's get going. If you like this series, make sure you like and subscribe and let me know uh, any feedback that you guys can give me. So, this week, what happened? So, on Tuesday, I had a interview with a summer school position in New York and that went really well and I got to the point where I'm going to be doing a virtual demo lesson tomorrow so I'm excited for that. I want to make sure that um, things go well, I'm prepared, know all the core values, how to story tell because those are my prompts and how to engage students or whoever the participants are. I'm excited to do that. I'm a little nervous because I've never done an online virtual one before and I assume these are not going to be kids because it says that it said that there's going to be other participants that I will be also doing their demo lessons. So that being said, I think I'll be having adults also doing their demo lessons and yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Nervous, but got to do what I got to do, you know. It's something that I've been working on and finally need something new instead of just doing other things like tutoring and stuff. So I'm excited to do that. Um, what else did I do? Wednesday, so Monday I didn't do anything. Tuesday I had my interview. Wednesday I met up with one of my friend, close friend from UConn. Um, we just met, talked about his life, you know, how he's doing. He's doing really well actually. A lot of work that he's been doing, but He's been trying to do something else, which I'm supporting. Hopefully if, uh, it goes well for him and I'm just wishing him the best of luck. But him and I, we're trying to start something new. <laughs> I keep, I feel like I keep saying this, but yeah, we're trying to start like a, our own skincare product or skincare brand. It's called Junior Re uh, Rejuvenation. Junior Re Rejuvenation. Oof. <laughs> can't say my own company. But yeah, trying to start a new skincare brand where we try to start with just anti-aging serum and from there we want to make sure that we can build more products around that and get big one day i know it's just a startup and it's a small business that i was just curious in doing i know in the previous episodes i said that i was not going to be i couldn't say anything but now that we've made our social media platform and we know where we are going to be contacting for our uh, wholesaler i think it was appropriate for me to be able to say this now so i'm excited for that to actually launch obviously him and i were both busy at certain times i'm going to be traveling soon so i'm going to be also busy doing my own vacation stuff so hopefully we can meet up soon again to just catch up start purchasing these ingredients and these um materials that we need in order to um sell and advertise our products so our original plan was calling it junior skincare but unfortunately someone else took that i was surprised that someone else should name a skincare brand called junior skincare so yeah well we were too late so hopefully we can start doing that i want to be able to like at least start selling or advertise by the end of august before school starts actually so yeah we'll see but i will be doing summer school if that if i get the job which will be monday through friday in new york so i won't be able to see my friend actually so we might have to call each other to do all this so we'll see we'll see how that goes but yeah i'm excited to start something new in my journey because why not because why not i'm still young i have a lot of opportunity i have a t I have time now more time now I'm still busy but i have more time now so might as well use the technology to my advantage and just go on and start something new. So that's what I did on Wednesday, just talking to my friend and him and I starting something new. And Thursday, I went to a brew place in Connecticut. It was like teacher appreciation, whatever. So I went to that with two of my friends from UConn. They're both teachers. They're actually both doing fifth grade, which is crazy. But yeah, they're doing fifth grade and it was interesting for me to experience the teacher appreciation brew place. I didn't expect breweries to like celebrate those things, but yeah, they had little goods like frisbees, like pens, notebooks, chapstick and stuff. I didn't get anything, but 
it was really awesome for me to just catch up with my friends too. I haven't seen them in like one I haven't seen in a month and the other one I haven't seen in like two, three months. So it was good catching up, just chatting about our first year, the ups and downs, you know, typical stuff that teachers would talk about and how we're looking forward to the next year, you know. Summer is gonna go by quickly, I assume, and I personally am not ready to start yet, but you know, once school starts, then that's when games start, that's game. So it will be for me to, what? <laughs> it's gonna be time for me to step up again and continue teaching and be a great educator for the students, you know, English is hard. I've been continuously making all TikTok and YouTube videos as well, trying to build a platform for my skincare stuff too. And yeah, going back to the uh, brewing place, I had some nice slushy brew. It was like a, I don't know what it was, but it's like a summer bev that uh, I tried and it was really good. I'll love to go back there again to just try that again. So it was a great experience, you know, great time chatting with friends. I think that's always a great time. And then Friday, I went to Boston actually. I stayed there for two nights. I was supposed to only stay for a night, but yeah, decided to stay two nights, but Friday, I went to Boston. Unfortunately, my bus was delayed an hour and 10 minutes, which really frustrated me. I was like, why? Out of all the times and all the, all the buses, my bus was delayed an hour and 10 minutes. So yeah, I got to Boston around five. I was supposed to get there at 3.40, but I got there around five. <laughs> Unfortunate, right? And I went to Boston because, well, one, um, one of my friends from Japan actually, I've known her since fifth grade, and it was it would it was nice it was it would have it was a nice opportunity for me to go visit Boston to explore, but also you know talk to her. So I did that Friday, and actually Saturday, but Friday yeah it was great. You know walking around Boston, just chit chatting. I got to meet her friends too, which was good, and cool because I love meeting new people and talking to them. So it was really nice just getting the t time to really talk with her and getting to know more about her and what she does. She, I can't, I, can, I guess I can't really say where she works at, but she's just doing a lot of chemistry stuff. <laughs> it's all I can say, yeah. I don't know if I can, I never got approval of wh whether or not I can say things about her, so. But yeah, no, it was really cool meeting up with her, just catching up, hanging out with her and her friends at night. Went to a Japanese, place for dinner it was all right a little pricey but it was all right and we went to like a bar later on and just had some drinks and just caught up and just had some fun conversations you know and that night i went to go see my other friends they're from yukon they're my good they're, they used to be my roommates back in junior year in college but i did i went to go meet them i was pretty <laughs> tipsy i guess and then just played some games and there's a game called rocks that i've never played before but apparently you roll a die you roll two dice and you stack rocks or whatever. And then the first person to get rid of all their rocks win. Pretty, pretty simple, yeah. But it was really hard because I was a little tipsy and everything. And then Saturday morning, I played basketball with the my roommates or my friends. And then in the afternoon, I went to go see my friend again from Japan. And we, we went to her place, like her workplace and I just got to observe what she does. It was really cool. I mean, she didn't show me what she did, but she just showed me the area and everything, which was really awesome because it's a great way for me to get to know her more. And yeah, it was really fun. Just catching up, you know, talking and yeah. And then at nighttime, I went to go see my friends again and then from Yukon and we went out two nights in a row. Oh, I feel old for doing that. Not gonna lie, my body right now, it's just not keeping up with it and I'm tired right now. <laughs> But yeah, we went out. Uh, one of my friends has a girlfriend and he, his girlfriend brought her friends. So it was like a big squad and, you know, talked with more people, new people. So yeah, this trip in Boston, literally I just got to talk with people and it was awesome, you know, catching up with friends too. It was a great trip. Very tired, but a great trip and was definitely worth it. And I watched the Euros today. Congrats to England. Wow, what a comeback. Bellingham, sheesh. Yeah, that was pretty much my weekend. It was a very nice weekend or nice week that I had, a productive and fun week. 
and I'm looking forward for next weekend talking about it. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.